Let's play a game. You and I are standing outside of a party somewhere. And just as we're walking in, I tell you that uh, while you're wandering around and meeting people, I want you to let go that um, you, in fact, have just gotten out of a prison for doing hard time. And if the people at the party believe you, they get taken in by your story. I'm going to give you a million dollars tax-free. A million bucks, if they believe you. Now, walk in right now and do it. Now, is, is there anyone out there that doesn't think that you could pull that off? I don't care what you look like. I don't care how young you are. Then, you know, it was a young person's prison. You could do it, couldn't you? I mean, you certainly try, right? In fact, you try with reckless abandon. You wouldn't even think about it. You would just do it. You would execute it. You would just get it done. I mean, come on, don't most of you? Feel that way? I mean, wouldn't that be the like easiest one million bucks you ever made? Okay, let me add to it. Let, let, let me make it more difficult. I'm gonna put an ear bug in your ear. And then as you're speaking to people, I'm just gonna start saying stuff. Whatever I say into that ear bug, you have to do. You have to now just kind of dovetail it, dovetail it right into the conversation. And I'm gonna call all sorts of things out. Suddenly, I may say um, to tell the person you're speaking to that before you went into prison, you were actually a circus performer. You were the person who would be on the wheel as it spun and people threw knives at you. I would say that you actually, for a little while, went to a veterinary school and had dreams of being an astronaut. And finally, I would say, uh, okay, here's how you did your hard time. Here's what you did to get you there. You actually, uh, choked your grandma, and you killed her. And it was over a uh, little incident involving a pound cake and uh, that she had uh, put uh, icing on a pound cake. And you said, you know, who, who puts icing on a pound cake? And you lost your mind, and you, uh, the next thing you know, your grandma was dead. Now, that's, that's like preposterous, right? That's ridiculous. That's insane. But is there any doubt that for a million dollars, you couldn't do this? As crazy, as outlandish, as whatever I could string together would be, don't you know you could do it? With no preparation. Now, are some of you out there going, oh no, I could just never, I could just never. Okay, well then I'm talking to the actors, the people that want to be actors. And if you're someone that wants to be an actor, if you're actually saying, no, I could never, I don't know anything, then what are you doing being a thespian? Come on. Come on, you know how to lie and make believe and pull people's legs and make stuff up, right? I mean, isn't that a part of your repertoire? Don't you know how to kind of do that? And certainly for a million dollars cash, couldn't you make that happen? I, I, I think most of you are saying, oh, <laughs> that'd be easy. I'd do it right now. Yeah, you know why? Because for that million bucks, you know what I did? I bought your trepidation. I bought your self-doubt. I bought your lack of confidence. That's what I did. That's what I did. And then you made it work. Here's another way to look at it. Let's say that I tell you, okay, uh, this is all we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you all the crazy scenarios and then I'm gonna let you plan stuff. You, you can actually take some time to figure out the stuff you wanna say and do. In a way, when I tell you that, doesn't it seem like that would almost be harder? as you screw your head up thinking of, okay, let me see, uh, you know. Do you not see how if you could just attack something with reckless abandon and use your instincts, just go for it willy-nilly, just hit it, you would probably be more successful than if you plan things out. Can't you feel that a little bit? You can, right? Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how that works? I hate acting. I hate it. I, I don't like watching it. It bores me. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> I know it's fake. People are acting. It's dumb. I don't get it. What do I care? Maybe for a minute, but not much after that. I love human behavior. I love it. I could watch it all day long. I do, whenever possible. I'm drawn to it. 
I, I, I'm, I'm enthralled by real life events, by things that happen, by human nature, the human experience. I think those things are fascinating. I don't think acting is. So you see, I've, I've always wondered, if what we're trying to get to is the former, the real life, the authentic stuff, why do we engage in any acting at all? I don't get it. Why, why, why would we talk about stuff we're supposed to forget? Why would we, you know, endeavor to do something that the net result is supposed to be none of that? We're not supposed to be, see any of that. Why? Why would we discuss acting? See, a lot of people think that uh, the people whose uh, methods uh, a lot of people follow today, revere, um, they think that they invented acting. Of course they didn't. They didn't invent acting. They just had some really groovy ideas at a certain point in time. But everything changes, you know. Ideas develop. Things get streamlined. You know, there used to be a thing called uh, eight-track tape deck. Google it. You, you know what we listen to music to on now? It's like this big. And it's got like no moving parts. This old stuff that everyone feels like if you say anything bad about it, it's blasphemous, has too many moving parts, man. And it focuses on acting. Let me give you another example. Real life situation, a breakup. You're trying to keep from losing your job. You're trying to get a job. You, you need to borrow some money from someone. It's critical. Whatever, something, a lot on the line, real life. How do you prepare for that? What do you do? Do you, I mean, this is a real life situation. I mean, you know, this isn't fake. It's not like when they say, you know, cut, you get to walk away. This is the deal. Whatever's about to happen in your real life is gonna happen. And you're getting ready for some big confrontation, for some big situation. How do you prepare for that? I mean, because you know, a lot of times we know what we're gonna talk about. We know the thing that we're gonna talk about. We, in fact, we may even repeat it almost verbatim what we're gonna to say to a friend of ours to bounce the idea off them. But you, you know what we never do? We never figure out how we're gonna say it. Isn't that funny? You don't do that, you don't. I mean, unless you're a weirdo, you don't. You go over why you're gonna say it, for what reason, why you're saying it, a lot of things, but you don't work out how you're gonna say it. And you certainly don't break us upcoming scene down into beats, right? You don't break it down and, and figure out and do some action verbs or something. So then some of you say, yes, but that's real life and that's easy. I don't have to do that. That's natural, but over here I have to do that. What's so unnatural about these other things that you gotta add all this bullshit stuff that no one adds anything to like it in life? We never do that stuff in life. We never prepare the same way in life. We never do. And in fact, if somebody suggested it, you'd say, get out of here, man. This is serious business. I don't wanna talk about some stupid acting idea. You know, there's this thing where uh, actors like to talk about the fact that, yeah, yeah, well, they work it all out. They break everything down into beats. They figure out what their action verbs are. They got all their inner monologues, you know. They have all their substitutions and everything. And then what happens is it kind of magically, then it just kind of goes away. And then it's just in their bones. And then they just, pfft, they just do it. Really? You know, it doesn't work out like that, right? <laughs> it's, it's impossible. Here's why. Because you planned a lot of things, right? So if you're not paying attention, how do you know if what you planned happened? Or do you have like a spotter that works with you that sits out there with binoculars so they can tell you whether or not what you planned happened? These little things that you have planned, you know, you're, you're still gonna have to push in the clutch and change it to the next gear. You're gonna have to do something. So now you're beholden to a way that you think you need to communicate. Yet I ask you again, if this stuff is so effective, why wouldn't you do that in real life? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't even dream it. But why? Because you trust your instincts. See, I think actors need to stop focusing on all this acting nonsense. It's dumb. What does acting have to do with anything? You ever had a problem? You ever had a fight with someone? You had an argument? You, you, your girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, dad, you know, employer? You, do you remember the scene? I bet you're thinking, pick a heated scene. You could have filmed that. That would be some really great work, right? Intense, gut-wrenching perhaps. Were you ever thinking about acting? Ever?
No. You were thinking about other things that were far more important than acting. Real life. Because real life is for keeps. <laughs> right?